Here we are in the backyard. What is today? December something? It's Monday. Mm -hmm. Not sure what day it is. <laughs> 7th, 10th, 11th. Mm. Look at the birds. I've got these two bird feeders. One here and one right there. I'm trying to be really still so the birds don't notice me. But I'm out here and it's, you, you, you know, you're working in a part of the garden and then they just descend on these two like it's a free fast food McDonald's or something. They, and you've got a horde of teenagers. <laughs> kind of dead. They love McDonald's. It's hilarious. It's just been really active back here today. Well, it's always actually pretty active like this. So let's see what happens. Anyway, I thought I'd enjoy the day. It's really pretty out. I've been trying to transplant my berry vines that have just been awful because they're they're wonderful blackberries. I mean, they taste wonderful, but the problem with them is is that they have there's too many in a group and they're and they um we have to go on the other side. But I'm trying to get the birds there. There's the park. <laughs> um. They're, they just have weeds growing between them and they're just in one bucket and they've just multiplied so much. So I'm separating them into separate buckets. In other words, I'm just um, fixing that. Also, I have a bunch of avocados that are growing and they're about a foot high now. And I was reading online and they were just planted in the compost, the avocado seed. And so I was reading online and it says it could take anywhere from seven to like 15 years for them to mature enough to where they're going to have avocados. So I don't really want them in places where I can't transplant them later because I want them to be in a place where they'll be um, individualized and, and maybe I could transplant them to something bigger over time. But so that's what I'm kind of doing. Oh, look, the birds don't want to come down. I need to back up. Let me back up a little bit. And be really still and see if that makes a difference. Okay. You guys, be calm because we want to see if they'll come up. They've been doing all day. Listen to them. That's a Eugenia up there in the backyard. We've cut it back so it's not over my fence. But it, those are awful. They get really huge. I mean, it's nice having the birds in them. But when it gets windy, they're really awful. Can you hear them? Aren't they great? I also have a whole lot of, what are they called? I'm going blank on them right now. They are tubulars and they, the ones that I have, they're, see, they're right over here on this, on there. I've had to separate them and they're actually kind of black, but they're just massive amounts of them. You know, because you plant one or two and then they, dahlias, that's what they're called. You plant one or two and then they just become, you know, 5, 10, 20, 100 after a while. So I've got those and they need to be transplanted because some of them are already sprouting. I know it's December, but they're already sprouting. So I need to put them in places. So I've got all kinds of areas that look dormant right now, but in a month or two when it thinks spring is here, it will become really massive. And then I need to cut back these trees a little bit further because I don't like that they're, they're getting too large, they're too tall. So I need to take some of the top branches off of the, the fruit trees. And I've done some, but now that the leaves have fallen off of them, there's a whole bunch more that probably need to be done. In the middle bin, which is this one right here, I've been putting compost in. You can see right there, there's actually a tomato plant still growing. See the tomatoes in there? I don't know if you can see them. There's some more, there's a bunch of tomato plants that are growing. And let's see. Ooh, I've never done that before. Wendy Hughes wants to join the long live broadcast. I've never done that before, but I think Wendy's done it before, so she probably knows. We'll see what happens. Yeah. 
Here comes Mark again. The birds won't come back, Mark. They're afraid of you. Well, I'm trying to sit quietly off into the corner so that they'll come back. They've been here all day. They know you. They know your ways. <laughs> They're all complaining about me. I can hear them in the Eugenia. Figures. Why does it always happen like this? They're all, I'm all waiting for them. We had a lot of rain. And now, we had a lot of rain last night too. I was telling uh, Mark, I, I in the compost pile, which is the middle bin right there, we had a bunch of sunflowers that were starting to grow. And so I took them out and I transplanted them to a place where it actually made more sense to have sunflowers. And I did that. All these little things you do right now actually will be really nice later. Look at my geraniums. Look at these geraniums right here. Aren't they incredible? So the backyard has seen so much rain and water. It has not seen this much in ages. I think it's a pretty blue sky day. All right. The birds are not coming back because I'm here. I'm talking, I guess. There's Mark. No, they're just, they're up there waiting. No, my cats never. Hi, Carmen. No, the car, cats never have anything to do with the compost pile. They have other areas that they employ. Here's Hamilton, speaking of which. Ham, say hi to everybody. I kind of keep the compost pile with stuff on top of it that wouldn't be, you know, anything they'd want to dig in. Come on now. Come on, birdie, 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 birdies. Come on. Come eat the food. <laughs> Let me go somewhere else. Okay. This has got to do it. This has got to do it. I gotta get to a place where I can sit. So you can see. Oh, they, they all freaked out. So they got quiet up there because they heard me here. Oh my God. Well, the garden box, yes, Carmen, the cats will go. So I have to keep, that's why I have all these sticks and I have iron and, you know, different things across it because they'll get it. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Susan. This is fun. I haven't done this before. Oh, I thought you've done it before I on FaceTime and stuff. I think so. I used to have a backyard. I know how much fun it is to have a garden and to see the seasons come and go and change. It changes <laughs> and then comes back. It's nice. People would laugh at us saying the seasons because this is, this is um, a week of rain we've had. And that's probably the, the season is over now. <laughs> <laughs> so many of our friends have snow and they're expecting lots and lots and lots and lots of snow and we're like yeah it rained <laughs> it, i know that's weather in california <laughs> in california yeah we're all excited because we got rain but um, when i was in la we got a little bit of rain uh down in la and i was we were in hollywood but now but apparently while i was gone it rained something awful and all my plants are smiling they're so happy you can see right in here, there's those avocados I got to get out because they're right in the area. This is the bed I usually use for my tomatoes. And then this is the compost area. You're going to come up here and help me work in the garden, Wendy? Do you put up um, 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 something for the tomatoes to climb on? Yeah, that's all these over here. Okay, yeah, but I see the cages. They're not, um, yeah, I've had to take a lot out. And what you do is you lay them down 
in the beds when they're dormant so the cats don't really get them. See, look at this tomato. It's still producing tomatoes back there. I've got cherry tomatoes all over it in there. It's, it's not got much longer, but it, it's still there. I even have cherry, I even have tomatoes right down in these little things. I've got all kinds of tomatoes planted. It, there's some in here. I don't know if they'll survive. It depends on how cold it finally gets. Well, the birds are back to making a lot of noise, but Stupid even birds. if you get just a few, it? that'll be fine. That'll be good. You know, that and and then the plants will just be dormant for a few months and then start all over again. I wonder how dormant we're gonna have. Because it feels like they're I mean, I've got spring flowers growing up and I've got um over in here, way in that third box right there, I have some spring narcissus. And you can see they're all kind of coming up in there. I don't know how well people can see it, but those are a narcissus. And they sm they're paper white and they smell amazing, but they're already starting. And those are like spring flowers. So they're already here. My, yeah, um, and I don't know if that's a consequence of um, global warming or something else, but enjoy them while you can. Well, you know, it's funny, Wendy, that you mentioned that because people, there are people, I guess, who still deny that the climate has changed. Even And they're older people who live you know, in country areas, don't they see how much, how much change? I mean, earlier and earlier, every year in this pot right here that maybe people can see there's an orange thing right there hanging. That's a California poppy. Look, it's, it's blooming. I've got California poppies getting ready to start all over my garden. How could they not? <laughs> it's like, this is December and it'll start. I mean, it, it, it's supposed to be a spring flower, you know, like March, April, May. Right. I can remember going on field trips, um, gosh, during the 1980s to, um, to go out, it was definitely not in December, to go no. and see the poppy fields. Yeah, it's amazing how it's, how it's been growing like this, where it seems like it's getting earlier and earlier and earlier. Mm -hmm. I, it's, and we never really have a completely dead season here, in, at least where I'm at in California. Trying to decide what to do with everything. I don't like to, I, I like to rescue plants. I don't like to get rid of any plants that look like they're even slightly volunteers. But I have so many tomato plants and so many everythings. It's crazy. Do you grow squash? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of squash. In fact, I have some still coming in over in, in some of the areas. I just transplanted one that was growing out of the compost pile. And I had some onions that were like living from the compost pile. So I put them in the area where I've been trying to keep onions. So nice. Who knows? I've got radishes still growing, potatoes, broccoli. I still have broccoli. Let me see if I can show you my broccoli. I, I never broccoli. grew potatoes, but oh, look at, yeah, I can see your squash. There's the radishes. Oh. I've got um, uh, beets, beets, and uh, what is that stuff called? Chard, a whole bunch of chard growing. I'm not oh, sure I have come, a taste of chard. Okay, I can't move very much. Watch, 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 watch. I got to move really slowly. Oh, see I them? see the birds now. Okay, so that's a tiny little percentage of them. Okay, now he's going over to the bird feeder. I can't get over to the bird feeders because because then they'll startle them. But you can see them. It'll be like a flood of bird feeders, birds. They're finally got, okay, we could do this. So the same color as the wood, obviously. It's hard to see until they move. Oh, my daughter's nothing. boyfriend is going to come over on the weekend and, and rearrange my balcony. I have, I have a view of the Los Angeles River from my balcony, and there was oh, water in right? it yesterday because it was raining. It was nice. There's not always water in it. Oh, wow. But I have a view of the of the river from my balcony and and i have plants out there that i brought from my old house yeah they're just pot you know potted plants because i don't have a yard anymore maybe i can um uh, well potted plants take my are, phone are over so i can show you oh yeah i see kenny said hi hi kenny but yeah i i can't imagine living without plants even on my windows you know like in some kind of potted plant on my window sills or uh, if you had even a slight back of a thing. Oh, wow. What is that? It's a screen. It's hard for me to see. I'll open the door so I can go out and show 
Oh, look, you've got quite a few. What do you have? Ferns. Oh, I know what I can do. I can turn the camera around. There. Yep, that's what I do. I don't want well, anybody to look at me. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I brought some things from my old house. And, um, oh, look at that. What is that pink thing? Is that a geranium? Excuse me? Is that a geranium? The yes. pink thing. Yeah. And, um, and Boston ferns and different kinds of like little cactuses, little pots. And then that's a Christmas cactus. It has come back. I think this is like the 10th look year. <laughs> wow. Look at that. And then out there is the river. Oh, well, I you can't can actually see, see the water it from kind of here right now. I think it's pretty, it's, it's back, it's back down to cement. <laughs> oh, how sad. This is just, it's, it's all I can have here. I thought well, that's something, of, and I would, um, I would love spending time uh, on, on those kinds of areas. I love, I love having greenery and plants. I have some marigolds growing in a little tiny pot and a Cosmo that I keep in one of my bathrooms and it's right next to the window. And every time I'm in there, I have to look and see what they're doing and how they're growing. And I can get really close and examine the plants. I'd never have been a botanist or anything like that, but it's, I find it really neat how fast change happens for plants. Okay. These birds aren't coming back, man. They're pissing me off now. How dare they? Let's see what I just feel <laughs> lucky, you know, if they keep living, because <laughs> I, I don't know very much about them. I learned a lot when when uh, when Brad and I had the garden in the backyard. Um, there was a book called Square Foot Gardening. Oh, I've, I've then, seen that. Pardon? I've seen that, that book. It's a cool book, and so a lot of our friends lived in apartments, and they're in the they were in the situation I'm in now with no yard to grow things and Look at we these had tomatoes. a huge backyard Look at this. and so um brad and and his friends um dug it up you know like um and tilled the soil and amended the soil and then with just strings and stakes we staked out uh like in your raised garden that you're showing yeah. now the um there, that was my my messy living room. Um, that, um, so that we were able to let our friends come over and grow what they wanted. And the square foot gardening uh, book told how to, um, like what would grow in a certain amount of space. And yeah. that's when I found out that when they're little, when the plants are babies, it looks like you have a lot of space. And our friend Dave Scott said, oh, no, you can't put, you know, so many plants in this one area because when they mature, they're huge. Yeah, and that's exactly like right. About, it's know, a like, skill you kind of learn over time. Like, look at these. These are all um, blackberries, and they're delicious, but they just, they're not growing right. They're they are too compact. They've, they're they also, all they seem to do with their time and energy is make volunteers. And those volunteers don't do a damn thing. So I'm trying to pull them apart. Like, here's one right here. I've just repotted it. Look at the mud. I got to play in mud today. It was so fun. So satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's lemons. Not lemons. These are all oranges. I've never planted them in bigger containers. I keep saying I'm going to. But I want to put them in a permanent place before I do so that they can get nice and big. But look at these. They've never really produced much, but it does take a while to get them going. But these are all different varieties of oranges. There's my hydrangea. I love the sun and the rain. That's beautiful, Susan. That's so it's nice. It's just fun. You know, I think everybody probably has something like this somewhere. If it's not their house, it's probably near their house. And they can enjoy their, you know, watching the consistency, how it changes over time. I don't know if you we have it up there in Monterey, but the, um, down here there are public gardens. And oh yeah, public a, garden, community um, gardens. A deal Look with the this. six Here's feet to, squash. and they give you a little space, but it's it's not like having it in your own backyard. You yeah, there's a somewhere. few. You have to hop in the car and go somewhere. I like I like the idea of it. I've seen them. They've had them here. I think most people in this area probably 
wouldn't partake in them so much because we all have dirt somewhere in the dirt here so many so look here's my compost pile that will be almost nothing here soon this is the side that i've been growing on that has really good soil so i'm going to dig this out a lot today so that i can start moving this stuff over to that side so i can start composting but this was all potato peels and leaves and um carrots and onion rings and everything this is all what this is i love composting it's one of, it's so satisfying but look at this Look at the soil. It's, there's no, no smell to it. You can see the eggshells in it. You're gonna grow and some stuff with that. It's perfect and it doesn't have any smell to it. And there's lots of nutrients. And that's part of the reason why I have such a successful garden is because I love composting. We're really good at it. And I've been learning to compost in place. That's what I did all of 2022 is to plant plant this uh is to take stuff like this and put it in the bottom of plants and let it compost white right there but i i had a pepper right here i pulled it out because it was just getting bad but you can see this tomato it's all root bound so i'm but it's still producing so i think what i'm gonna do is is put a wall around here and and put more compost in underneath to cover up those roots and let it go for a little bit longer because it just seems like a strange place to have all my compost, but this is what happens. Okay, everybody, I better go because I've got things to do and I can hear the neighbors with the zing, zing, song, the leaf blower or whatever it is. It's good well, to see you, Wendy. Thank you for the visit. Yeah, nice to see you. Same here. I'll see you later this week. Bye, everybody.